Hi, I'm Darren Bloomquist, Vice President at Realty Track. Today we're going to look at numbers in the first quarter around institutional investor purchases and all cash sales, both of which are major drivers in the recent housing recovery. All cash purchases reached a new high in the first quarter of 2014, even as institutional investor purchases dropped to the lowest level since the first quarter of 2012. Nearly 43% of all U.S. residential properties sold in the first quarter went to all cash buyers. That was up from 38% in the previous quarter and up from just 19% in the first quarter of 2013. Meanwhile, institutional investors, which are entities buying at least 10 properties in a calendar year, represented just 5.6% of all sales in the first quarter, which was down from both the previous quarter and a year ago. While the vast majority of institutional buyers are buying with all cash, they're not the only all cash buyers in today's market. We're showing that there are many smaller investors as well as owner occupants that are buying with all cash. Markets with the highest percentage of all cash purchases in the first quarter included Miami, where 67% of all sales were to all cash buyers, along with New York, Columbia, South Carolina, Detroit, Memphis, Atlanta, and Las Vegas. Although the share of institutional buyers was down across the country, there were some markets where we saw an increasing share of institutional buyers. Those included Baton Rouge, Louisiana, San Francisco, McAllen, Texas, Allentown, Pennsylvania, and Omaha, Nebraska. Both cash buyers and institutional investors are getting good discounts in today's market. The average purchase price made by an all-cash buyer was 13% below the after-repair market value of the property being purchased. And meanwhile, institutional investors were purchasing at 18% below the after-repair market value. As long as lending standards remain tight, and U.S. real estate continues to be seen as a good bargain, we'll continue to see a relatively high level of all-cash purchases in today's market. We'd love to hear from you about what's happening with all-cash purchases and institutional investor purchases in your market. Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive weekly reports on the state of the housing market. If you haven't already, don't forget to check out last week's video where we look into the latest trends in home flipping. For custom reports on this real estate data or other real estate data from RealtyTrack, contact the number below or go to data.realtytrack.com.